All right. So according to you, Madam Chania, if I'm not wrong, is that as long as you are able to bring all your wives together, that's okay. But if you are living separately and you don't know what each and everyone is doing, that's where the problem comes in. If you're able to support <coughs> them, then that's fine as well. There is something we are ignoring here about women, mm. and we have to agree. And I'm a woman empowerer. Yes. We are here today at the level that I am today because of the empowerment that has been done on women. Mm. We cannot water the women empowerment either on rights, mm. on education, mm. or on transformation that has been done by our predecessors' leaders. Mm. It is like telling women that the steps we have made forth, mm -hmm. and we are still continuing to fight even, to, even for the same rights even today. Mm -hmm. We water them when we say that a woman, a third wife, or a fourth wife, mm. this first wife and this second wife, in the nature of being added more women, mm -hmm. it is being suppressed. Mm -hmm. You see? And so, this first and second wife will be living in fear, even of trying to breathe out loudly, in case my breathing out won't please my husband. Then he had another seventh wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because the first wife is the one who, fear, who feels he's, he's the one who's, be, she's the one who's getting added for. Mm -hmm. So you add the second one, the first wife feel it. You add the third one, the second and the first feel it. You add the fourth one, the first, second and third feel it. Mm -hmm. So it is like suppressing women and suppressing them. We okay. have to agree about empowerment, okay. that women have been empowered, mm -hmm. and uh, about marriages. And about, by the way, I think I don't want to miss the point of children, increasing children or increasing population. Mm -hmm. It can be increased even with singlehood. Okay. You know why? It's because it's not everybody who is single out right. of choice. Okay, perfect. Grace, I'd like to know your views on this because, you know, like, uh, Madam Tanya is saying that women empowerment has actually has had an, an effect on polygamy. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with her? Um, my opinion is this. Women empowerment mm -hmm. is the best thing that has ever happened in this nation. Mm -hmm. And we are so grateful to every person that has participated on this. Yeah. And my, in my point of argument... Mm -hmm. For there to be polygamy, mm -hmm. there must be something that is triggering it. Okay. So and let's talk about those reasons, actually. Number one, yes. distance, just like Madame Shania yes. has said. Mm -hmm. You realize that a man is living in Nairobi, the wife is in a, a country mm -hmm. because of reasons, like mm -hmm. they can't just uh, be able to bring the family to Nairobi mm -hmm. because of expenses and everything. Or the wife is also locating located to work somewhere else. Like maybe she's a teacher, like she said, in Mandera, the husband works in Nairobi. He doesn't have to be outside countries. Mm -hmm. Even here in Kenya, as long as you're living separately, what do you expect? Number one, the reason that has taken you far away from your husband mm -hmm. is your personal needs, because you want to work. Exactly. Which is okay, because mm -hmm. you're compensating. Mm -hmm. you're, you're complimenting each other. Because mm -hmm. maybe your husband's salary is not enough. Mm -hmm. It is very much okay, because we cannot just sit there and not work. But this has created it. You cannot assume that your husband will keep waiting for a month. Okay. Until you meet. For his conjugal rights. Yes. That is okay. Or two months. Okay. Because it depends on how much or how frequently you meet. Mm -hmm. At some point, there will be a woman somewhere. Okay. And like Madame Shania said, mm -hmm. it's not only a woman somewhere. Mm -hmm. There may also be a man somewhere. Because even the woman right. has conjugal rights okay. to be met. Yeah. So this uh, empowerment mm -hmm. may or may not have contributed. Because we cannot close the door for women to work. Mm -hmm. We want them to work. Okay. We want to be responsible. We don't want to be beggars. All right. <laughs> you get the point. All right. So at some point, we ask ourselves, what's better? That's why my argument is for polygamy. Okay. What's better? Right. Do we want this man to be left single, like waiting for the wife mm -hmm. in quotes, mm -hmm. but he has several girls around who okay. come in and out secretly, mm -hmm in his life, mm. and when he goes home, he wipes his mouth mm. very well, mm. and there with, he is with the wife. Exactly. And the woman is also enjoying himself with some bentens, mm -hmm. some tomboys mm -hmm. somewhere, because mm -hmm. she'll never do it openly. Mm -hmm. She's legally married. Exactly. She did a church wedding, so she has to hide it. Exactly. These boys have their girlfriends, and so do these young girls, this young have girl. their boyfriends. Exactly. For me, it's safer. If this man has a wife mm -hmm. in the city, and a wife in the up country, then the wife in the up country will know my husband has another woman. Okay. It will save one side. If he's not with me, he's with yes. person. Yes. And so. we can always consult right. each other. 